Hello and welcome back to another episode of Lamplighters League. My name is Eiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough of uh, this wonderful game on hardest difficulty. It is time for mission number four, where we need to uh, put our agents onto another mission. So what do we have available? Uh, the mission introduces a new uh, enemy type, the Grenadiers. Recruit Mother Amina and access uh, healing and healing upgrades from the hideout. That uh, looks not too bad. Recruit Danny Belfort and access weapon upgrades. We are going to go for Danny. And send an agent uh, on the lookout for keystones. Uh, how about South Africa? Can we? Oh, there is the lookout. I see. Assign an agent that will cost us one intel. And Latif Trust no one. appears to be the right agent uh, to do exactly that. Latif, good job. And I want weapon upgrades. I want the big fat damage. Bombs away. This mission introduces a new enemy type, the Grenadier. Okay, cool. This is a critical mission, which means I think we're not allowed to fail it. And this here seems like it's the sign of the type of enemy that you're fighting, uh, the type of chosen that you're fighting. But since I don't know how they have um, separated the world amongst them three, I'm just thinking this might be the industrial tycoon. And we do have decent equipment. We got a flash bomb on Ingrid, uh, and we can't. We don't have more equipment at the moment. So let's start the mission. Okay, so we don't have the immediate takeout. Uh, that Draft uh, brought to the table, so no sucker punches anymore. I'll take it. But we do have more electricity bombs than ever. Uh oh. Okay, let's ungroup Anna Sophia positions herself over there. Just out of curiosity. Okay. The Herald buff grants inspired uh, teammates inspired as a buff. Plus 15% hit chance and crit chance for two rounds. Okay, I see it's not double movement. Uh, motivate is her other buff and bless applies inspired and removes debuffs in a large radius. Shoots SMG as an overwatch and AoE healing. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Lots of abilities with her. Good. We're moving a little bit further in. Let me hold on to this. Hey, what's that over there? Good, let's hope they are running right into it. Out of the way. Very nice. Well, the only thing that we haven't done beforehand was spilling the water. So next time, little lesson. Let's 
spill the water first, then do the electricity. Good, avoided a full-fledged fight with them. No, 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 let's stay here. Okay. Well, so far, no further enemies, so let's just continue moving up. Nothing, okay. I wish we could loot a little bit more because you can only carry one item, right? And once that's done, this ought to come in you essentially don't have any chance to loot anymore. I think that's a bit a bit negative. Well, maybe we're getting maybe we're getting more items in the near future. Two enemies over there. Oh, uh oh, one enemy there. Well, this is going to be noisy. There you go. Enemy taken out. Okay, cool. Let's not make more noises. So far we are nicely staying under the radar. I'd rather use all of my abilities here. Oh wow, that's a ginormous amount of enemies. Okay, I guess well, that's fair. What do we have here? Only thing that we now have is one more charge from Astrid. But I'm sure we can hit at least two with it, right? Come on. There we go. Sleep well. Don't okay. Well, I'm almost impressed how smooth this went. Route of special abilities, uh, though. Which means from now on, it is either shooting, shooting our way through it, shooty shooty, or finding a different option. Okay, Eddie. And Sophia.
I would love to use the explosives here, but no one is standing anywhere near them. Nope. Hmm. Well, look, I mean, we could just ram her into the wall, I guess. But it's only four enemies, so we should be fine, shouldn't we? Yeah, let's give it a go. Enemies are beginning. Buff grants inspired to all teammates for two rounds. We can do it. Refunds one AP. Does that mean we're having now three? No. You need to spend the AP before it refunds that. Do we have two AP here? No. Okay, well, it does not do that. Inspire to all teammates, refunds plus one AP. Oh, we are getting that one AP back. I see. Um. Hmm, good question. Let's just give both targets we have righteousness on our side. one AP. And we can still overwatch if needed. Let's hit them for free. We get an action back to move over here. Hmm, not really what I wanted to do. We could move all the way up to here. What is the guy? Uh, okay, that's a ranged damage dealer. Matter of fact, all of those are melee. So how about we're just doing that? Doing one kill. Okay. You must practice a lot. And he is overwatching because what we're going to do next is going to be evasion. That means they are coming in and we will have plenty of opportunity. Overwatch is not far enough, so I would rather want to go to here so that we can overwatch next turn. Not so fast. Nice hit. Both of them. I was about to say both of them cannot take an action, but I was dead wrong. Okay. Good hit. Fantastic. I think now is the time to knock all of them down. Now you 
know your place. Hits and kills that target as well. And that target, Killer Instinct triggers thrice. Evasion. Into moving closer in. Um, you know what? We're just reloading. So they are out of line of sight, and we're good. Good, we're nicely moving up. And giving ourselves evasion. Full cover into getting him out of evasion. We have no debuffs on a teammate. I wish we, uh, we could just do that in order to heal, but healing is very, very restricted for potentially a good reason. You don't want to put too many hit points in. Good enemy is reloading. He can't really do much. Once uh, um, Ingrid is on him. There isn't much he can do. There we go. A souvenir. Come on, Locke sent us to get you out of here. I will go with whoever wants me dead the least. Cool. Uh, that second wind. Uh, who has used their ability already? You know what? Well, I want to see that healing ability. Grant me your healing miracle. And she grabbed second wind. Cool. Really cool. I like it. Didn't even need to use anything. What did you do? Listen, a certain amount of risk I expect. It goes with the profession. But these soldiers, they tried to kill me without even the courtesy of an explanation. Cool. I am mildly proud about uh, not needing to go into a deep, deep fight here. But essentially disarming a lot of uh, the stuff beforehand. So, lesson. Very liberally use your uh, pre-combat skills. The monument. What does that do? Debuff. Inflict two stress on surrounding enemies. One blow to the nose. That's all it should take. Okay, big fat victory there. Could be the breakthrough we've been waiting for. 
The shipment clerk of the payroll found some errors in the manifest of the ship contract to house Scrum. Sent an agent to follow up who confirmed that the manifest was altered to hide the presence of a heavy stone artifact. The ship reaches the port next week. It might be our only chance uh, to examine it examine its suspicious cargo so there is a keystone available and we got ourselves a mission was successful Monsieur Balfour, I hear you can make a mean gun meaner what's more we appear to have an enemy in common enemies in common but I'm a weapon smith I don't have enemies other than the law the Luddites and the no reason. The enemy from whom my agents just saved you is quite real, Monsieur Belfort, and they want you dead. Work for me as a weaponsmith to my agents, and I can keep you beyond their reach. Consider my offer. But right now, we must turn our attention to the Keystone. I found a lead on it, all right. The Keystone is in Banner's court hatch, Strum, to be precise. He's got it on a tramp steamer called the Pharaoh, which will leave port this week. Then we have no time to waste. All four of you will infiltrate the port just after the ship docks. That's when you will steal back the Keystone. Uh-oh. He's using a serious voice. Because the Keystone's on the way into the tower, right? Rock mentioned he needs four of them. The stakes are even higher than that. I believe... Studying the Keystone will reveal a way to defeat the Banished Court once and for all. Mm -hmm. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. Be on your guard at the port, agents. An artifact this rare is sure to be heavily guarded. Interesting. It's been a long time since Locke and, uh, had an ally here in the hideout. Visit the ally to discover how the newest recruit can aid in the fight. You need something special from me? Okay, Weaponsmith item. Rewards a frag grenade and a thunder bomb, as well as unlocking tier 1 consumables and mods at the supplier. Okay. Mechanical Vembrin, self buff, passive, melee attacks uh, gain a 33% chance to reduce the cooldown. Vitality Engine, self buff. Upon using a buff and debuff or consumable, the agent regain, uh, regains an ability point. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not bad because that effectively means you. Uh, if debuff consumable means, uh, for instance, a smoke bomb, uh, a blinding bomb, uh, then that means the blinding bomb becomes a free action. So that would be really, really good. Ability Optimizer, Reload Abilities Reduce Cooldowns, Passive Attack gains a chance to reload plus one ammo to the magazine, that is pretty damn good for Eddie. Okay, so these are all weapon based um, nice extra attacks. Adamantine Lining is the absolute boss um, ultra thing armor plus 15 speed plus one incoming shock damage fire damage and poison damage is reduced uh, does that automatically come with every uh, single one that looks incredibly good so I'm going straight for that electromagnetical magnetical optimizer plus 15% uh, damage five armor shred okay Okay, and a lot of unlocks that you can get. Uh, we also got a trauma battery. Melee attacks gain a 25% chance to grant an AP. <laughs> okay, so this here is the melee route. This here seems the ammo route. And this in the middle seems the defense route. Uh, since there is no yes, this is negative on getting uh, the first um, tier, because we basically at one point, right? Rewards a frag, uh, grenade, thunder bomb, as well as unlocking a tier one item. Good out there, champ. 
so what is it that we have gotten we got an we've gotten light armor um, which provides five armor for 100 well, it's not bad vitality gear uh, max hit points um, and max stress a pocket item thunder bomb um, pocket item is that the same yeah so okay I see so that's knocked down on everyone in the target area that is actually a really good item and we got one of them and we got a frag grenade on top of it shreds 10 armor and deals 40 damage then we got an uh, accuracy talisman uh, which is basically a scope for plus 10% hit chance very nice and a 10% critical uh, chance talisman which would be good uh, good old Eddie finally solves his ammunition problem and uh, armor shred because uh, the game heavily indicates that there is going to be armored enemies soon so what are we going to do i feel a nice combination out of aggression and defense would be good uh, i don't know how important that armor shred is but simply getting armor off of the enemy seems good but in order to do that we need to hit the enemy so i want a talisman a plus hit talisman and then we do have um light armor because that's better than no armor putting light armor on you and good old eddie gets the two hit chance yeah not bad we need more supplies guys we need more supplies so in terms of skill points we got six more skill points um, we got permanent armor shredding onto our healer which isn't bad And we could improve the restore ability uh, so that everybody else ga uh, regains one signature charge which means we can be a little bit more loose with our signature charges I think that sounds to me like a good compromise going deeper into her territory and essentially uh, that's as deep as I would skill her for now maybe put blast 2 uh, which will reduce the cooldown so a little bit of cooldown management is never bad but her own cooldown reduction not that important and certainly she's not a attacking enemy uh, and a damage dealer so yeah uh, no bleeding for her i think next up what i would want to do is hot pursuit and then potentially push kick and going deeper into that area killer instinct 3 would be great but in order to do that we also need more speed so we can't just it is actually well made because uh, if you rush down here and just take that that won't be that would won't be automatically um, better Yeah, I think for her, to be fair, base speed isn't bad at all. And an extra ability of Onslaught, an extra charge of Onslaught is great as well. So, might as well do these two next, so that we can... Well, Hot Pursuit is only two points, so that's easy. And push kick is easy as well so those two I think we should skill and then we're going all the way down here that's the plan uh, for the time being focusing on one character and I think that's really it um,
Okay, cool. Well, that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate your support. If you feel that Lamplighter League is a great game, then uh, let me know what you think about uh, the new ally that we've got in here. Would you go all the way down to Great Armor? Or should I rather go down the melee route and make uh, our melee character even better? Let me know in the comments down below and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.